Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are getting it all done in the kitchen. I will be sharing my family's banana bread recipe, foolproof hard-boiled eggs, fruit leather, and some meal prepping. And since I have a one-month-old and a three-year-old, I thought I would share how this day went for me realistically. So expect some jumping back and forth between recipes. But without further ado, let's get into this. So this morning, I figured I would start with preparing the fruit leather since it was going to take multiple hours to make in the oven. I decided to make this because we had some grapes that were beyond the point of snacking, meaning they were just a little too mushy for our liking, but still good. They weren't moldy or anything. So I broke out our little blender and blended them up with some defrosted strawberries and poured them on a silicone baking mat. Some recipes online say to cook this mixture down a bit on the stove first, but I was too lazy to do this step in the morning. After spreading out and flattening out the mixture, I tossed it in the preheated oven. When making fruit leather, the lower the temperature, the better. I set ours to 175 degrees Fahrenheit and eventually turned it down to 170, which was the lowest our oven could go. Then I did a quick clean of the counters and played with Aubrey while Jack was napping. Aubrey said that she wanted to work out, so I found this cute little video, which I will link below. Occasionally, she actually tries the exercise, but I like how it takes her through the alphabet and that kids are actually the ones leading the exercises. Next, I laid out the ingredients for our banana bread. We usually freeze our bananas when they get a little too ripe, so I had to wait for these to defrost before I could start baking. So in the meantime, I started heating the water for our hard-boiled eggs and measuring out the ingredients for the bread, trying to clean up as I went. So 
So I have found that to make the perfect hard boiled eggs, you want to start with room temperature eggs and water that is at a rolling boil. Place the eggs in the boiling water and let them cook for 17 minutes. As soon as the timer is up, immediately place the eggs in an ice bath. After giving the eggs some time to cool down, I placed them in a labeled container and began working on some meal prepping. Since I've given up dairy while breastfeeding for a while, a popular go-to meal for me is chicken salad. So I strained a few cans of cooked shredded chicken from Costco and mixed it up with some mayo. I made a huge batch because with a newborn, it is really hard for me to find the time to make a meal from scratch each time that I'm hungry and ready to eat. I like to enjoy this with some dried cranberries and either crackers or salad. By the time I was done with this meal prep, my bananas had defrosted and Jack was back down for another nap. So I got to work on my banana bread muffins. This recipe is a staple in our house and I especially like making it now that I'm dairy free as it uses vegetable shortening instead of butter. Before the muffins went in the oven, I thought I would take out the fruit leather as it had been five and a half hours since I had put it in the oven. Unfortunately though, just the edges were done. So I had to put this tray back in the oven later on to finish off the center of the fruit leather. I did taste test it though and it was delicious. A little later, it was time to fix dinner. On this night, I decided to cook up a bunch of burger patties, not only to eat that evening, but also to have on hand for when Juan gets home from work. To do this, I first lined two baking sheets with foil to catch the fat and place the frozen burger patties on just one of the trays and season the patties with some steak seasoning. I placed both pans in a 350 degree oven and let it cook for 30 minutes. While they were cooking, I sliced up some cheddar cheese for snacking throughout the week, not for me, obviously, and thinner slices to put on the burger patties.
Then I took the patties out of the oven and flipped them onto the warm and prepared empty tray, seasoned the other side, and tossed them back in for another 15 minutes. I love this method because it is relatively little work and I'm allowed to step away and work on something else while the patties cook, rather than monitoring them by a grill. When dinner was over, the fruit leather was finally done. So I separated it from the silicone mat, rolled it up and cut it in little servings. I definitely see making this again, especially when I have fruit that is on its way out. However, in the future, I foresee cooking up the blended mixture on the stove so it gets rid of a lot of the extra moisture so that it won't take as long in the oven. I hope this video motivates you to get what you need to done and provide some insight into how things realistically get done by a stay-at-home mom. As much as I'd wish to just focus on and complete one task at a time, that is just not feasible with a three-year-old and a one-month-old. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you stick around and I will catch you in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.